Okay. Oh. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> oh. Oh. I meant it to look this way. I finally got my hair trimmed and colored all one color for the first oh, nice. time since for the first time since um November. Art. Oh, no, nice. oh, I hadn't gone way before. Wow. So, yeah, I took off a little more than I wanted, but at least it's all healthy and it's one color, not 15. Yay. You wanted it longer than that? I don't like it longer than that well, on me. Well, no, I have, I like my hair, like, as long as it's covering my neck, I'm okay. But right. I've always had, I've always had short hair. So I like it a little bit long. I like being able to put it up and and stuff oh, but, um, yeah no, i don't do that's fine it's it's good and it's just so like at least it's um i've never been able to like you know do that it's always like too frizzy so <laughs> i can run my yeah, fingers my through hair it. Is down to the middle of my back oh how yeah. do you no, I'm not doing how anything. do you sleep without waking up if they're all um knotted and twisted i have so much trouble my hair was only about two inches longer than this no, but when I, I, that doesn't happen, but when I wake up in the morning, I look like Cousin Hip. <laughs> because it's just all in my face. Hey, we got to talk shop now. Scola's here. <laughs> Scola! Hey, what are you guys chatting about? What do you want, the club salute? Hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so Mine's putting that right right up on my YouTube channel, right up there. Everybody's <laughs> gonna see it. No. <laughs> but the, if they've been around at all, it's expected, really. It really kind yeah. of is. It's a little it's bit disappointing. It's a little they bit disappointing, disappointing when they don't get it at all. Wouldn't they be disappointed if we weren't obnoxious and inappropriate? Uh -huh. That's how you that You must be. have your um, quantity of quota of cuchinas. Cucina, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, tight. Uh, oh, oh, straighten up, everybody. Debbie's here. <laughs> I, I have got to show you my new thing, my new shuffle card. Can I show you? Yes, yeah. yes. It's for the yes. This is this is a new. This is my new thing. Okay, so what should I show you first? Let me do the share screen. Okay, let me show you the, um, this thing first. Uh -huh. This is a picture I'm working on that I'm going to laminate and put on the doors of my house. Now, very oh, good. Do you understand why? So, so if somebody if something happens and they have to come to the door, they know who's supposed to be in here, <laughs> right? Now that That's seems awesome. weird, but if it's a, like a fire, right? So now, if you're watching this, you can do this because I'm going to make it big. Okay. Uh, point your camera at that QR code. That's my new card. Can you do it? Do it now. Do it now. It works. Wait. I did it. I don't know how to do it. Just Wait, turn do, you, do you have to point the QR reader at it or your camera? Just your camera. Either one. Yeah, mostly the camera will just do it now. Maybe it's not big enough. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, my oh, oh, oh. Let me make it bigger. Oh, regard. You should be able to do it. You got it? Mine just did it. And at the top, it says open the LFI app. And here is it is. I love it. opening up with my camera. Oh, look what at you. Can, did you, is it not recognizing that it's a QR code? It's. It's circling it with yellow. Um, are you supposed to take a picture or just hover? You should, what happens on mine, I have an iPhone, is I, I, I point it at it and it pops up and says, it's, trying, it to open, it's yeah. trying to open a website. It'll it keep moving and it recognizes it as a, it opened for me. I'm gonna try with you, you have to you focus. Use your phone camera? You have to yeah, focus it. Camera, yeah. Yeah. Well, how are you using your phone camera and pointing it at that? How you do that? Well, Just you can't be on your phone. phone. Act like you're going <laughs> to take a picture. Act like you're going to take a picture of that QR code. No, she's on her phone. 
Oh, yeah, I'm on my phone. Okay, no, then you can't do it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was wondering how in the are you going to do that? <laughs> yeah, no, you can't do it. But no, look at it. This oh, from another, I got another, it. Another angle, okay, is that um, so I have this this poster with all of us on it laminated and put on the door so that that's what a first responder would see. That's right? awesome. And um, let's say for some reason we aren't home, but they could do the QR codes. Now I can make one for Grammy. I can make one for the cats. Are you, that's what I was going to ask you. Are you going to make one for everybody? Yes. I love Bo it. is yes. so pretty. His coloring is so nice. I know his See, eyes. This way, so cute. It's got yeah. um, the QR code. Let me go back to the QR code has... Um, oh my my phone number right away my links to my social media in case they can't get me but it also has the vet the vet's yeah. name the vet's address the vet's phone number so my thinking is if somehow i'm disconnected from the dog and they are able to skip that qr code they can at least call the vet the vet can take over so if i'm traveling somehow the dog got here by itself without the sitter somebody can get the dog help and that's yeah. actually somebody could get Grammy help. I like somebody it. Could get help, and they would have all the information they need. So um, the, right. the carousel of products that we have, you can just put pictures in there that don't have links on it. So I could just put a bunch of different angles of the cats and the dogs to make sure they recognize who's who. So when they go to take one out of the house, if that's what they need to do, for some reason. Are you going to put a warning skull and crossbones on? Um... Maisie's. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I thought I'd put a little, a little like um, emoji of the Tasmanian devil out on a cover. Oh, we were able to save all of them except this one cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, that one's the most, especially one that you want to save. You just want to go in there with uh, shoulder high rawhide gloves and a and a probably a burlap bag. That might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah bare hands in a cage probably not no but i mean i think this could really come in handy if somehow they need to know who's in the house like when they're if there's a fire really we talk about that here everybody that comes here um where we're meeting right by the dumpster by the dumpster thank you you get extra points for that. <laughs> How come you remember it, but the kid and Grammy don't? <laughs> I, and I keep, I keep doing the quiz too. And to me, I picked the dumpster because I thought it was so obvious. <laughs> but yeah, no. And, and even Liza said out front, "I'm like, <laughs> no, no. The farthest away from your house that's still on your property, <laughs> that's, that's the dumpster. So anyway, because you don't want to get burned, right? But anyway, if for some reason I need to be able to tell somebody who's inside, just to say you have so many cats or the dog or whatever, I think this is a lot better. And then if for some reason I'm not able to communicate, they could still have all the information, especially for like Grammy, because I'm going to put all pictures of her bottles, the prescription bottles, the doctor's name, all that stuff so that they could deal with that yeah. if I if I don't know or can't tell them, right? And usually I wouldn't know. How would I know all of her stuff and all of my stuff and all the kids' stuff? You wouldn't know it all, so you could just look at it. Um, the thing I wanted to make sure to say is um, when you go on Shuffle, uh, I want, matter of fact, let me show, show the card because I'm talking way beyond. Deb hasn't used this before. Yeah, and when I did when I did that, I came up with your puppy. So how did yeah. that's what yeah, you're is supposed that what to it's what I was supposed to get? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought I was going to get you. That's why I was no, confused. This was a no because this is just like an extra use of it. Okay, so an because extra the code use. is below bow, that's the card that I'm going to get. Yes. Is info. Okay, so now if it. I'm I'm gonna make another card and instead of having Bo, I'll have Grammy and have her information. Oh. But let me show you what the cards look like, how easy it is to look at the cards. Okay. So these are the cards that I have in my deck right at the The main You know, one I'm so impressed that you almost have a full ten. Can I just tell you? That I almost have a full ten now? I yeah. deleted some just before we came on because 
<laughs> I had like six campaign cards and I only need one to update it, right? <laughs> I'll be even more impressed when you have file folders like me. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> but so I have ones for all my businesses. So like Avon Hempworks and Avon Safety Products, you can have it for subsets of products. So you can make cards for all kinds of stuff and uh, all kinds of reasons. So this one is like uh, birthday wishes for Avon team members. And then of course the dog one that I just made for Bo. So I'm gonna have one for each of the family members so that I can keep all their information straight. Now, somebody asked me in the page, they said, um, but how's somebody gonna unlock your phone to see that? Well, they don't need to see my phone. They just need the QR code or the URL and they get this. So this is the card itself. Now, if I want to edit the card, and I'm just showing this one, Debbie, but it works the same for a business one. So I'll show you a business one after, but let me just finish this discussion. So if I want to edit it, I go here. And to make a card or to edit a card is just step by step by step. So like this is just the color selection. This is the information that you fill in that shows here. And I can put anything I want. So why I wanted to show this is because even though this is an awesome business tool, you can use it for other stuff, including the information for a pet or a child or your mother. Okay, those kind of things. It's just a great place to have all your stuff in one place. Now, this is the usually where the products are. And I just have a bunch of pictures of the dog. So they could recognize the dog. If I had more than one dog, that would be a problem. You don't know which See, dog. I like, Lisa, I like that idea because I have two black cats and the only difference is, is one of them has a little bit of white under under his chin. But other than that, you can't tell them apart if, you're, if you don't know my cat. So I like that idea that you can do the carousel with the, with the different pictures that you suggested. Well, and, and you're able to put um, like here, which ends up being under the picture here, I could say how long I've had the dog, where I got the dog, what kind of dog the dog is. And I actually have, um, I've got to add it. I did this in quick for the meeting today, but I've got the dog microchip and I've got the dog, um, the DNA of the dog. I've got stuff I can add to this so that if somehow we get parted, the person seeing this could have all of Bo's information. Okay, mm -hmm. so I, th I think that's important because you don't know what'll happen. Like I, the reason I have the dog is because someone didn't, didn't make an effort to try to, they didn't microchip him, he didn't have a collar with a, a tag on and he got away mm -hmm. from him somehow. Oh. And I, I think he was well cared for so they probably didn't mean for him to get away from him. You know what I mean? Because he he looks well cared for. So I'm no, trying. He, he escaped. Yes. They used to try to put him in a cage, and he ran away. He's what? <laughs> he, they probably tried to put him in a cage, and he ran away. So he escaped them to find <laughs> you, the Taj Mahal of pets. That's yeah, he knew he was gonna. <laughs> He knew what he was doing. You yep. know, it's funny now is it? I didn't think uh, Andrea taught me about you have to make the crate. I don't say cage, I say crate now. You have to make the crate uh, a reward, not a punishment. Yeah. So um, now there's one toy that we fill with peanut butter that goes to, uh, when he goes in that, that means I'm going to the crate. So now whenever I pick the toy up, the red toy to start putting peanut butter in, he goes to the crate. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> For a while, we were like dragging him down the hallway, <laughs> and now the kid said, "The kid said you only have to drag him a little bit." I said, "Watch this! I don't have to drag him at all. All I gotta do is pick the red toy up now, and he just goes to the crate. <laughs> so it's easy. But I think that there's a good use for this. Now let me go back to um, a business use because that's why we all like it to start with. Every time you update your card, by the way, it asks you if you want to go to all the previous people that saw it. And you can say yes to that and they get an update. So now let me tell you, because Debbie's new and some I think that somebody else knew. Um, this is the first card, and I'll give you the basic information and then Scola can tell you more because 
how this happened was what three years or four years ago three and a half years ago i was at a woman's conference and one of the other uh speakers called me later and told me about this and this card is the one i made that day i'm i used it for two years until scola said hey you know you can do a bunch more stuff with this mm -hmm. <laughs> I, so you don't have to use all the bells and whistles for sure you can do a basic card that i set up on my phone and it's just easy you walk step by step by step that's it and i used the same card for two years and got plenty of business from it and actually, a lot of people, because I turned on the little thing at the bottom here that says design your card now, not only do I not pay for this, but it pays me. So it's been very easy to do, very well received. And what I like about it the best, of course, is when I'm out somewhere, let me, uh, okay, when I'm out somewhere, What'll happen is I've got a sign on my car. Or if you're talking with someone and they say, what do you do? You say, hey, do you have a cell phone? And I, I take out my phone and I open the shuffle app and I, I say, hey, I got this new thing. Let me send you my virtual business card. It's really cool. So then I have them put in their name and their phone number and I send them my shuffle card. And so when someone, for example, with Avon, we have these campaign books that they change every two weeks. So someone, when they come up to my Avon van, they always go, you have a book in there. And I say, I got something better. I got every book. Because when I send them the link to my store, it automatically updates every time the book changes. So they're not getting one piece of paper book. They're getting the link for every book. So, and then you've got their information too. And you can... Uh, collect their information and how this works uh, Debbie is like for example with the Avon one I was at PetSmart uh, some lady came up to me and said do you have a book in there and I said hey I've got every book I did this with her and I got her name and her phone number and she got my virtual business card with all my links my contact information and um, all of that then I went home and I took her name and her phone number and I went into whitepages.com and reverse looked up the phone. And I pay $5 a month for that service and I got her address. Then I put it in sent out cards and I sent her a card saying, it was nice to meet you outside of PetSmart. <laughs> but she was already impressed by the card, the virtual card. And then she was even more impressed that I sent her a card card. And on whitepages.com, they even give you a birthday. And this one I'm thinking of, I met her in August. Luckily, her birthday was in September. So not only did she get the virtual card, which she was, she actually credited Avon for that, which of course it's not true. <laughs> but she said, wow, they're so techno. And I'm like, yes, they are. And, th and then she was excited because I sent her a greeting card. She said, I never get cards. And then I sent her a birthday card. She was beside herself. So, I mean, it's using all of these little tools together that worked. The first one, what could have happened instead of me having my shuffle out, I could have just handed her a paper catalog. She may or may not have decided to give me her information and that would have been it. This way I was able to collect it. And I haven't had people say no to me. Usually I say something like, oh, let me try this new app I've got. Watch this, this is cool. And, and I said, do you have a cell phone? And they just put it in themselves. I hand them my phone, they put in their name and their phone number themselves. So they don't feel like I'm asking for something. Like sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm out and I try to get them to give me their information, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. With this, I'm, I'm like, oh, play with this new app with me. Will you put your, your thing in here? And I'll send it right to you. You'll get to see it right immediately. And they're like, oh, this is neat. Is there so, a contact manager in it where you can go back and look and see all the people that you sent it to? Yes. Now, now, so see, but there's even a there's even a follow up technique. So <laughs> let me just let me Deb, let me just tell you what shuffle. Is, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now she's going to tell you so, all the bells. And I, I'm like right on the ground floor. So, <laughs> so you're going to make your card, and you're going to go out, and instead of having to worry about anything, and we're just going to take HempWorks for an example because I used it yesterday. So I have a HempWorks card. I have a card for everything. So. Um, 
it's easier for me to bring that up because I have how to shop, how to get started, pictures of the product, videos, everything. I'll show you the card. Okay. And um, while I'm there, I just opened my phone. I opened it up. I filled out her information. I sent her the link. I knew she looked at it because Shuffle's going to send you a notification that your card was viewed by whom and their name shows up. And then I also could follow up right then. So when I get somebody new on my team, I send them a welcome card that I have made. When that welcome card goes out, immediately I know as soon as they viewed that card, like, so I can send them an email, I can send them a text message, and I don't get to know that they've actually looked at the information. That gives me that cue. If I meet somebody when I'm out and I'm using that to gather their information, I can change the follow-up to another day. So it's going to ask you, when do you want to follow up? And I can stay in a week or in two days. But the important part is, is that I do have their follow-up information. Then it has all the stats. So you can see how many times they viewed it, if they watched the videos and all of that from Shuffle as well. So not only is it a relationship manager, but it's also a mini website. What are we showing me here? The, the, how many times she sent it and how many, oh, there you go. Views and how many times time. it was viewed. Yep, yeah. here, I'll show you on mine. So let's go in here. Are you sending a card through your Shuffle or through send out cards? Well, I'm oh. doing both, but sh we, both. how are you I mean, initially? Both. Yeah, initially it's Shuffle that we're collecting the people's <laughs> information from. And you can actually send them a card through Shuffle? It's just a virtual well, this card. Is, oh, your, your virtual. business card. Okay, got it. I was yes. confusing yes. what kind of card you were So talking about. this is, so for instance, this is, um, this is, this is hemp work. So we're going to just view this card. My dog's going to bark because the mailman's here. Go, go. Come on, get in your bed right here. No more barking. He's not here for you. So this has all the information that I want them to see about it. It has how to get a sample, how to enroll, how to shop with me, all the pictures that are self-clickable. So not only can they click on these pictures and go right to the website, they can click here and buy my book. They can click here again and get the stuff. You can watch these videos, which I need to update because we have so many good ones, but you can watch videos on it. And when you share this out, you're literally sharing it as like a mini website. So it shows like that on your yeah. webs, on your, on your store. Last week, I showed everybody when they create a, camp a campaign on one of their cards, how you could do a lead capture form and you could get leads from them as well. So <clears throat> the stats are well, very see, cool. That's, that's what we want to do now because we can go into the MDC Genius app and send out either the um, shampoo and conditioner sample or the coffee sample. But to do right. that, you need their name, address, you need their email and their text. You need those things to get past that on the app. So you right. can use a campaign to collect it. You can do that through the Genius app. You can send out samples. <gasps> I did not even know that. Yes. Oh my God. I've oh, been doing that you? every day. How did you? Yes. I, you know what? I have been, I'm, a, I'm in the middle of pigeon roost and I have been like gone from Thursday night to, to Monday morning and I have just been totally out of the loop. So that's why I oh, said yeah. I got to come here and start learning again. <laughs> so here's, here's a great example of the send. So this is my welcome to my Avon team. I have sent it 359 times. It's been viewed 356 times. So you can see every time I, I've only gone to first generation new representatives and as they get that card, they get, they view it which you can tell is different from some of my other ones. Like this one, I didn't send to anybody. That's just a video I made. So there's no views on it at all. No sends on it at all. And then if we go back to everybody, I have a networking, you can make files with all of them. I have these two cards that I use for networking. Um, this would be just to give out information. I've sent it out 108 times. It was viewed 855 times. Um, same with my um, hemp works. I sent it 81 times, but it had 512 views on it. So some of this is because of the campaigns that I put together. So if I wanted to create a campaign with this card, um, I would update it first, but I'll just show you how to do it. I would go under the card. I would hit campaigns. It'll show you the campaign that I had. I'm gonna create a new campaign and I'm gonna call it um, sample samples, because that's going to be what I'm creating, getting info. 
This is just for you. you nobody sees this. It doesn't have to be spelled all right. And I'm going to do it on Facebook. This is how you want your notifications. But at the bottom, it says include lead capture. When you click yes, it asks you, do you want it to be at the bottom? Do you want it to be just an optional pop-up? So you can have this all the time show up at the bottom of your card. Um, I don't always have it at the bottom of my card. I just usually make it specific. Optional pop-up means that it's going to pop up, but they could click past it and get to your card. But I'm going to do it mandatory because the campaign I'm going to set up is going to be on Facebook, and I'm specifically doing it to get information. So they're going to have to fill out their information that I want to get past that. The lead capture title is going to be get a free sample, and that's what it's going to say on top. The first mandatory field is first name. The second mandatory field is a short field text, last name, mandatory. Then I'm going to add, we need what, their address, Lisa? We need their address. Address, yeah. mandatory. Email. You need the email and the, their cell number for text. Emails mandatory. And one more would be cell phone. And it, it's mandatory um, to send a sample through MDC Genius. Right. So well, this is how we're going to get sure. the information. Yeah. Now you can also do. So since if you, um, you can do a radio box, a drop down menu, a check box, you can also give the option for them to put and upload their business card if you want them to, that's a cool option. I'll put it on there and not make it mandatory, <laughs> but they can upload that if they wanted to, which is nice. You and should make it, can you do a choice where if they want the shampoo and conditioner or yep. the coffee? So you do a check box. Would you like check? What you check what you like. Wow, this is really cool. And then checkbox one would be coffee. Checkbox two would be shampoo, conditioner. Shampoo slash conditioner. Shampoo. Oh my God. Slash conditioner. I, I can't type under pressure either. Any other one? Any other ones? Are those the only two no, they got right those now? Are the two, those are the two in the MDC Genius app right now. Okay. You can send them right now, and I've been doing it every day, every okay, single so day. We're going to do this on Facebook. So when it opens up from Facebook, because you could do Twitter and LinkedIn as well, you can also copy this link. You could do it on Snapchat or any you can send it out in an email. You can send it out in a text message. It looks like this when it pops up, but this is the most important part. When you're doing lead capture, you want this to gather their information. So I'm going to put free samples if you would like a free fee, <laughs> free sample. Fill out this information and I will send one out immediately. Is immediately EOY, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And then you put click here. And then I like to put the little emojis because people really need to have direction in their life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you have to give them as much direction as you can. Mm -hmm. You put the emojis here. And then <laughs> so post to Facebook. So then we're going to go to Facebook. So let me open a tab. And here it is. This is what it's going to look like. And when you click here, that's what you get. Immediately your pop-up will come up. First name, last name, address, email, this. Choose what you want. You can choose both. You can choose one. You agree to the terms and you submit it. But if you don't 
see, I can't click anywhere on my screen without filling out the mandatory asterisks. Mm -hmm. So when you fill this out, so I can show you how it works on your end, this is the best part about this whole thing. When they created this business card, people were like, oh, I have a business card. It's digital. No, you don't. You don't have this. This is the best customer service relationship manager on the market, hands down, for $10 a month. It's, it's incredible. And I'm a real estate agent, so I use this in real estate. I do cards for all my houses when they go in the market. This just makes it wonderful. Um, I'll put my address, 222 address, my email, my email at email.com, my cell phone. Oops, nope, nope, dash, three, 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 three. And then I want both of them and I agree and I submit. And then it says, thank you. So now when I go into shuffle, you hear the ding? That's a lead. <laughs> wow. You go under this, you go under this little hickey do here. First of all, it showed up on my phone. So at the top of my phone, I have a shuffle notification. I'll show you guys. And the shuffle notification on my phone says when I pull it down, New lead capture. So I don't know if you can see where it says new lead capture at the top there. Yeah. Okay. But it also comes up on here. So when you open your notification, it says new contact. Lisa Skoll. The other great part is it has tags. You can tag everything. So right here it says it's a lead capture. They I want they want samples. It tells you everything that they want. So you can open it up, see what it says right here. There's my phone number. A coffee, shampoo, and conditioner is what she wants. Shuffle automatically put a tag on it called lead capture and samples because that's what I called it. So if I want to go in my tags over here and do lead capture, this is all the ones that came through on a lead capture. So every time I did a lead capture, these are the people that filled out the paperwork. Hmm. So now what, what's well, cool about samples, this would be with the MDC Genius is that you'd open the MDC Genius app on your phone and you'd open the lead on your laptop. So you can sit there and look and, and record it right into your you do it MDC right from Genius. Here. Yep, but yeah. you could do it and you could, yep, you could do it right from there. I mean, I could look at the lead right from my phone. When I clicked on lead capture, it came right up in the notification. But I mean, so, then you'd have to transfer yeah, it over to the other app. Do, right. Where, where if you were you um, you on your laptop, you could just walk, do it and put it and send it absolutely so it is and so once easy they fill out the lead capture and they say what they want and that box goes away does it show your shuffle then where they could go through and look yes. at your website and stuff it all pops up they could look at the website they could order it so you can make that card however you want mm -hmm. so because i opted to upgrade my shuffle that one time for 50 dollars, i get a hundred cards so with a hundred cards and you have that qr code when you do an event you can do one on each one of your products. As we've we've showed how to do that. Um, this way that you're you're showing like an opportunity card, and you just wanted about your opportunity. And I have cards that when I'm out, I'm all about getting their follow up information. So when I'm having a conversation with somebody, they might not necessarily want Avon. They might not necessarily want Hepworks. They just might want to connect on social media. They might want to buy my book. So I have a networking card. The important part is is I'm going to get their information, and I'm going to come home. And like today, all I did today was but 50 new leads in my computer. So I'm always trying to find cut. And then we use send out cards by thanking them. We have their address. We send them a card to the mail. So to us, as many times as we can touch people when we're marketing, we want to touch it by the mail. We want to get them on their email. You want to be able to send them something else. We get to add videos to that. I mean, oh, did you hear that? So we just filled out the card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard the ding. Let me see. Who was that? Was that somebody and, on here? And can you it? do like, does it work? Like, does it go? I mean, it seems like it does a lot of stuff, but does it work as far as to go as like an autoresponder? Like if you want to message everybody in your hemp works that is a lead. Yes. Can you send sure them can. all a message saying something like special today? You know, so what you can do when you're in shuffle, milligram oil is on sale for, you know, $99. And I don't do this very often, but there is a way to do it. And I think it's under when you're networking. So you could do chatter and you can create a group. So when you have a group chatter, you would put in here, what's your conversation name, 
who you want to add to the chat, or you can do it by a tag. So if you put everything in shuffle under hemp works or everybody by sample or everybody by Avon or whatever, and you do that, you can create a group chat and then you do broadcast that out to everybody through shuffle. Hmm. Once they're wow. your contact in shuffle, you can broadcast to them. You can broadcast to people that aren't even on your team if they connect with you in shuffle. So it's almost like a network marketing on the backside as well, because you could do that. So you'll get messages from like um, ER Wolf and um, them, the, they, they send out their trainings, they'll do it. And it's nice because you just, you know, they opt in to be part of your group. So you can some broadcast those out all day long. Wow. That's so awesome. it's a great way to manage everybody in one spot. Um, and their training is great, Deb. I mean, like we go over stuff when we're on here hands-on, but I mean, if you just go to the help section when you're on there and ask a question, it'll be a quick video on how to do it. So you, it walks you right through like at the time when you're doing it, because I'm the kind of person that I have to watch it right before I do it. And there's another ding. <laughs> don't you, uh, Debbie, don't you do uh, BNI too, I think? Do you do BNI? BNI? Yeah, BNI. Yeah, I just joined a BNI chapter. Oh, I'm so okay. excited because I couldn't do it while I was working, and now I'm oh. no longer working. See, I, I'm not distracted anymore. I'm like back. You know? <laughs> well, on that note, you do realize that you can make money doing this, and pretty decent money. Not only will it pay the ten dollars a month, but you probably have a little slush fund for when you go on vacation by the bar tab. So what you do is you pass your phone around at every event you go to and you say i just like to get your information and they're going to want to hand you their business card so if they hand you your business card that's fine that's good but right in front of them you put their business card on the desk and you take a picture of it in your contacts and you add them in and you hand them their business card back and you go okay i just sent you mine it's digital it'll come up so and they're going to be like what is that we'll be like oh no this is the best thing going wait till you see what it does and you have a quick conversation you go right at the bottom there's a banner just click on there and you can do it too join the affiliate program you don't have to do anything to earn money with shuffle except for be active and share it yeah. out that's it that's all you have to do and and you will earn um a percentage of like a dollar whatever it is a dollar off each person and then it goes down 10 levels wow and then it's free the affiliate thing free, free. Yeah. but the um when you take a picture of somebody's business card it it extrapolates their information yeah. adds it to your contacts I like that. And it saves that <laughs> so picture. You just sit there at an event and just do that yep. and get everybody yeah. quickly. When I started yeah, that's, with kind of, that's kind of where I'm going to focus now is networking events. And I'm going to, I'm yeah. having a BNI group. That's like one of the most active BNI groups in the area. And then I'm going to visit all the rest of them. There's like a hundred in my area. I figure Whoa. it'll take me a year to get through them, but I'm going to every single one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all about i mean this is the best this when it comes to networking is the best tool out there it honestly i was so excited when i started learning more and more about it and the way that they've changed it and they make it easier to do the cards i make my own videos because i'm all about um that personal touch so when i'm doing something like when i'm trying to sell or when i'm trying to introduce i like to put my video on there because they've just met right. me and now they're watching me you know yeah. and then they can connect all of it so i I hope put it on the get my YouTube and then I put my YouTube videos on there. So, I mean, there's just so many things and many people can't afford a website. And so websites cost hundreds and thousands of dollars, but you can actually redo this all the time. And the reason why Lisa and I had, we had heard about using it for people, you know, that need like all of their emergency contact information on there is because you can make numerous cards. And we figured out, wow, you could make that for your, you know, how many times you got to change your prescriptions for your mom and dad and whoever you take care of that has like a list long as my arm. Every time you update that card, you don't have to redo it. You just tell them, let everybody know my phone number That's changed. That's huge. Or, yeah. And they all get a notification that you changed your phone number, you know? So you don't have to go out and tell everybody, look, I printed new cards. Did you get my new card? They just get your new card. I just started I that. purging my office and going through everything. And I'm going to tell you, I filled up my garbage can with boxes of old cards, flyers that I made for events, stuff that I made oh. to hand out that had wrong phone numbers on it, wrong emails on it. And I don't really change my information that much, but if you can just go in and change and everybody gets your new information. We, I used to be um, involved with a thing called Nomi, K-N-O-M-E. And it was the same concept, but the guy that started it just was kind of flaky and he kept 
stopping and starting and stopping and then you'd have to redo it and you know go back and do everything different because they changed the format but i love the concept of being able to say oh my phone number changed or i got a new phone number or a new email or something for the because i have like i have you know debbie at woodcbd.com and i have my wood cbd website can this this is what i wanted to ask can this be put on a website or is it like yeah, yeah. as a matter of fact if you have an instagram account you have an Instagram account? Yeah. Well, you know how you put the link in the bio? Mm -hmm. You only could put one link in your bio. Right. What? Put your LFI link. You make the card that you want all of your information connected to. And we like to use them with that carousel. So you can put the pictures that are clickable. And I like to make it. And I also use a lead capture on it. So if you go to my Instagram page, that's what shows up. The lead capture shows up. What are you interested in? This, these are what I offer. And then here's my information. So everything goes on there so i know there's different ones out there that you can pay for or whatever so that they'll kind of combine them for you to make it easier but you're already getting it you got it with lfi so you make that card specifically that you want and you put it on lfi all my websites have an lfi link it's a website it runs by google and just think when you do an event like um you set up a table at a job fair you set up a table at a home show or whatever you can put the qr code on your posters on your banners or whatever and then if you put the um lead capture thing at the beginning of it you're not having them stand there and fill out a little paper they just have to scan the qr code they get the form and fill it out for you so you're getting their information and everything and can, is done and can we their just phone. Just talk about how COVID has helped us with this business all the yeah. way around because nobody wants your paper anymore. You can't even get a menu at a restaurant. you got to scan the QR code when you walk in or they put it on the table. So now we have something that we can offer to everybody that has a business. Anybody who hands me a business card needs to use Shuffle. And I tell them, I can take care of so much. And I get it. There's a lot to learn, different things they could do. But I'm like, I can literally take what you're doing and condense this down to one app and then make your life a lot easier if you're just willing to sit down and just apply it. If you don't use it, then you're not using it. But I mean, it's doing it for you. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I was I had this conversation with um, my coach that helped me finish writing my book. And now she's helping me to create my course to go along with my book. And we were talking yesterday about this whole thing. And like, um, it's a guy's name that Judy Stallings is having the event for the big, big network marketing guy. His name is just like escaping me. He's doing uh -oh. a three day event in December that um, the virtual event. I've forgotten. It's in, it's in team infinity. I put it down. As a matter of fact, if we get 30 people, we're going to have our own private room at his event. Um, nice. Eric Worry. Eric Worry. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. We were talking about how, you know, to go to his event in Las Vegas, it would have been airfare, hotel, the tickets would have been 10 times as much as the, I think they're 297 for a ticket for a four day, a four day, 12 hours a day event with him in December. And, and it's like, yeah, this COVID has really helped with what we're doing. Because mm -hmm. because with anything, I mean, even with Avine, you could do a virtual event on Zoom and have all these people come in More and demonstrate people. makeup, which, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Jenna's got makeup in the works. Like this BNI group that I'm joining, they don't have anybody selling CBD. It's, there's 46 people in the chapter. It's the biggest one in the wow. area. They don't have anybody selling CBD. They don't have anybody doing personal care products, makeup, nothing. So I can get in there with my shampoos and makeup coming, and I've already got that sewn up. They don't have anybody teaching the cryptocurrency model. That's a whole nother thing that I could be in this BNI with. They don't have anybody in travel. So I'm like just getting in there with everything, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just don't don't let this overwhelm you because Skoll and I are opposite ends of this. I used it the basic basic. I threw a card together. I never changed it in two years. And I got tons of business because of how many times I shared it. Yeah. So she knows all the bells and whistles. And we're still getting, we're both getting a lot of results from it. Mm -hmm. So don't think that you can't use it if you don't get it all figured out. You just got to get enough on there. Just to got to do it. Here. Yeah. And then I'll it. definitely go basic first and then I'll mm -hmm. you know, expand from there. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's really impressive. I mean, I, 
I've been wanting to see this for a while. And then I kind of almost was going to get called away. That's why I was like, are you recording this? <laughs> there, and you know what? They're all recorded and they're all on my YouTube channel. So my okay, YouTube good. channel is Success with Scola or Lisa Scola. Mm -hmm. And like, you just look for that little shuffle link. You can watch them. And, and then keep in mind, we, have, we do love the chatter. So it to, there's training on all of them. Though I tell everybody, just go and watch. We're a fun group. You got it. Some people just showing up for the entertainment. I know they are. But honestly, it's it's good information. So so yeah. Caroline, is, she's like, I'm here for the entertainment. Isn't this like <laughs> the most we haven't talked about anything else ever? Like usually we're talking about, yeah. We're usually well, it's like, we're yeah. Talking about pole dancing or something, weren't we? Yep. <laughs> or that, or that bathroom that was in that house I showed the oh other day. Oh my God. God. That was... <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I like that. Hey, I, I gotta tell like, you, I was I in the Bahamas. You think that's funny? Yeah, I love. You know, I love a, a hotel room, a big fancy hotel room. I'm all in for a big fancy hotel room, and I love when the toilet has its own toilet room. Right. Yes. I love that. That's what you were yep. showing. This own toilet room. Yeah. Well, no, that was actually the potty downstairs that everybody used. That's the half bath. Oh. That wasn't was even there a drawer. That was you opened the door and the toilet sat there and it had a canopy over it. That was it. And there was a sink. There was a canopy. My friend had a bathroom like that in her kitchen. Oh my God. Oh. Because her, her grandparents were old and they couldn't yeah. walk up the stairs to the bathroom. And no joke, you couldn't close the door. There was no room. It was literally just a round toilet and thing. And oh. I was always skeeved out. You'd have to like go to the bathroom saying, don't come in the kitchen. Don't come in the kitchen. Don't oh my God. Kitchen. In the kitchen, no, no less. So listen, there was, mm. My mother was a large lady. Oh. She barely, like, I would always laugh going, oh my God, we're going to have to like, you know, chisel around. <laughs> so this big fancy hotel I stayed at in the Bahamas, the Hyatt, a brand new Hyatt. And we stayed there after we stayed in Atlantis. Um, they had a big brand new hotel. It had a couple weird things about it. And one of them was the toilet room was completely see-through so you're oh. you're next to the shower and you yeah. can see the person in the toilet room what's the sense of that i thought the whole idea was that you both could use the bathroom and there would be some privacy but it was like the toilet room is in yeah. a see-through glass box yeah the plaza has those that's weird too. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. weird you know what the other funny thing was is the floor uh there was no box spring the the thing was on the floor and it, I had trouble getting up. And I, and the thing I've noticed in all these years is that most rich people are old. <laughs> I wonder how that's well, going to work out for them. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're either on, they're either on the floor or, they're, or they put them on the ceiling. You get those hotel yeah, rooms yeah. that have a stool to get in it. Ben I'm Everest. like, I'm going to fall out of his bed and break a hip. I'm like, this is not a good time. Disney's <laughs> doing that Ben Everest, remember? <laughs> ben yes. Everest. I'm like, hike on up on there and then you gotta get the leg and you gotta hike the leg on up there <laughs> well i said that to the hotel people i'm like you know i i just had a couple questions here i'm like <laughs> did is the room not done did you forget the box spring in the rack you know <laughs> and they're like oh no that's a super chic designer thing we're doing right now and i'm like, like that glass oh. toilet room I think it's the glass, the glass <laughs> toilet in the shower so you can communicate and still carry uh, on a conversation. Oh, with hey, I was, at my longest way, uh, marriage was 18 years. I still didn't let him in the bathroom when I was going to the bathroom. And the, no, <laughs> there's some things I do by uh, myself. Uh, that's it. Well, you know. The only way I have separate toilet rooms. So that's a big thing. Everybody, if you don't have a separate toilet room in Georgia, you know, you got an old house, right? Yeah. And it's like, but it don't matter because the dogs still find their way in there. <laughs> I love your house you're staying in right now. Well, you should see the one I put on offering, and I just, just got accepted this morning. So hopefully. Oh, congratulations. Yay. Thank you. Oh, I had to yay. cancel the other one. The other one was a hot mess. So, uh, it was going to be a hot mess. But this one's this one's got five bedrooms. Wow. wow. So which one's mine? Where am I coming well, that would The one with the really high bed. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah, don't put a don't, don't put a bed Everest unless you're giving me a stool no bed or Everest. something. <laughs> no yeah. bed Everest. No. You know, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke had me over at her house. Brooke, the one that won the national honor there, the spirit of Avon honor there. And 
she had me sleeping in her daughter's bed and then she we did these like she found on pinterest these drinks that were a pail and i wasn't going to drink the whole thing except her <laughs> husband her husband said that we were wasting liquor and mm -hmm. i said no we're not wasting liquor we intended to drink this whole thing and he said let's see it so i was the only one that drank it all just a spider husband <laughs> well he should have known better not to give you a challenge but then I had to go to the, I went to the uh, bedroom and I look and it's like Bed Everest. And I'm like, oh no, what am I doing here? It's like, doo, doo, doo. yeah, you know. <laughs> and then I'm thinking to myself, I'm doing this like four or five times tonight because I'm not a one done kind of gal. No, if it were eight hours, I'm going like two, three times. So I went out in the hallway and I said, hey, I, I need a stool over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Ben> Everest. <laughs> ben Everest. Crazy. No, nope, no, nope, it's a good time. It is a good time. Yes, yeah, I'm, we, guess, I'm uh, looking we, forward to getting back to that traveling again. You got that swing thing done for me yet? Oh, they're coming. They're coming Monday. The swings are coming. Yes. You guys can all come up. You can all come up and see it. I've got one of those, and of course, Pinterest. I love Pinterest, but uh, Mr. Greg, the handyman, he, he hates Pinterest because <laughs> I, I show him these pictures of these impossible projects and say, I want one of those in my backyard, <laughs> but he did a good job so far. It's going to have uh, four swings, uh, two doubles and two singles. Nice. And a nice. little fire pit in the middle and it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. I saw, I saw an episode of Hometown. Have you ever seen the Hometown show? Mm-mm. -mm. Um, I think well, I have seen Hometown. Yeah, well, yeah. they did. The first time I ever saw saw one of those swings like you're going to get, they did it on a hometown show. They bought this little house for $12,000, but it was next to a pond and it had some property Ooh. to it. And it was pretty much a dump, but they, they fixed it up. And in the backyard, they put one of those and uh, a fire pit. And it was the cutest thing. So look up Hometown. Um, hometown uh blue house with swing or something I it'll, know. It, it'll come up it's the cutest little house Aww, that they did. Oh, that's neat and that's the first time i ever saw one of those swings like you're <gasps> doing that's the new house <gasps> nice Ooh. it's got columns that's fancy nice nice we'll see. oh and and debbie i i should probably tell you um it's not that i don't make money with sent out cards i spend more than i make we so, do but um starting with the first year i made more with this already mm -hmm. year over the year. yeah yeah and i don't know um it, i haven't had to spend any money to make it that's i think the difference um mm -hmm. i just uh put the banner you have to turn the banner on when you make a card but yeah. i turn the banner on all of the cards i've sent out and i've sent out probably i don't know 1800 or something so i use it a lot there's no doubt about it but um, I think my thing goes down like eight or nine. You can get paid up to 10 generations deep. And it's only a little bit too. But yeah. I, I, it just seems to um, snowball easier. I don't know if it's the price or that it's such a cool thing. I'm not sure. But I, it, it went to be my number two money earner. Wow. Mm -hmm. right, right when I started using well, it. And you know, it's one of those things, I think, when it comes to shuffle, um, the opportunity. I have a lot of people. And I mean, there's, yeah. Just they get it and they never use it. So I have a few real estate agents, realtors in our office. They tell me all the time, we need to sit that and we need to go over that. I go, I have a meeting once a week on it. Get on and find out what to do. I mean, I don't even know. We, we want to have a special lunch. We got to go have a special lunch so I can show you. Go learn. There's help. I'm like, but they're paying for it. They've been paying for it for months. They haven't used it at all. And I feel like that's one of the oh. things. And that's why we started this. I'm like, they're missing out on so much that it does. And if you have just a little bit, you just know a little bit about what it does when you talk to somebody and show them they're like wow this is really cool you know but i'll have oh, i have a digital business card i'm like no you don't no nah, no you don't and you have one but you don't have this one it's when I'm just you, saying, i think this is way more than a bit digital business card though. if they I consider mean, themselves a business a, um, card that you can say take a picture nope. of this and you have my information right they, they advertise themselves as a customer relationship manager so and when you're walking around in just regular life, um, to me, I think about myself wearing a tool belt 
And when right. someone says something to me or I meet somebody, I'm thinking, which tool am I grabbing right now? What am I doing? What order am I going to do them in? That's how I ended up talking about shuffle and send out cards and you get it mixed up because I use all my tools usually, or at least I use them all in an order. <laughs> but shuffle seems to be the easiest first tool because it helps me collect their information. Right. And so it's not I always about the money being made off them. It's the money that they're making you, meaning all the businesses or the business you're doing, if you have the right tools for it, it's going to make you more money with your business. And that's right. like my plumber that comes here or the, the carpenter guy that I see. I mean, I just met somebody the other day. I had a um, contractor come to a house. He didn't have a damn business card. I'm like, how do you not have a business card? <laughs> I said, well, let me show you mine because clearly you have your phone, right? And I shared my business card. I said, you might just want to be making one little simple card up just so you never say that again. Then I'm having my team meeting with Avon last week. And one of my reps go, oh my God, somebody see my car. I had the shoe at the signage put on. They immediately asked her for a book and her books were in her sister's car because she switched cars and she didn't have a book. She had no I said, well, if you would have used shuffle, you could have given them a card, you know? So it's one of those things that you might get stuck somewhere without your actual stuff. But yeah. if everybody leaves, somebody will turn around and go home to get their phone. So yeah. if you don't have your phone with you, that's really going to be an odd thing. So at least, you know, you can open it up and always get their information and share something about your business. And that to me, that that's a million dollars because I'm, I'm never without my tool. And I hate business cards. I mean, I, I had uh, literally boxes of them from all my years of networking and I threw them all out. Started going through them and I was like, I have no idea who this is, who this is, who this is. You know? <laughs> so no, you should I never throw them. No, 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 see, you got to go back in the garbage. You take all of them out and you take a picture of them and you send them your new digital card. You sit there for a half an hour, an hour. You take all the cards you have. You take pictures of every single one of them. And then as you take pictures, you send them your card. You go, oh, I just got your card. I'm going completely digital now. I just wanted you to have mine so that we're connected on my, on my digital card. That's a great card idea. App. I have a box of cards left in here. I'm yep. going to do that with all of them. You're going to do that up. And then what you do is that opens up that conversation. Yeah. Where, wow. What are you doing now? This is, you know, this is really cool. So, I mean, I'll do, I do that. I mean, it's, it's got, it's just got so many, so many great uses. And you can, um, if you want to share your card with somebody in your family that, you know, wants to give your card to people, because I still use business cards with real estate because, you know, you got to leave them at houses and whatever. So I still have those. Plus, when I buy people drinks, I have a complimentary business card I hand out so that they get my card so they know who bought the damn drink because I'm not about giving shit away. <laughs> Right, 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 right. So, but <laughs> you can, they can, since it's an app, since it's run by Google, they can save your business. They can save your card when they open it up by pressing the buttons on it and then saving it to their home screen. So if they want to share your card, like if, you know, somebody in your family, husband, so whoever want to have it on their phone and they don't want to carry all your business cards, just tell them to save it on their desk and then just show them how to open it up and share it. That's all they got to do. Oh my gosh, my son is opening up a pizza shop in December. I'm just Ooh. coming up with all kinds of ideas for that. My my yeah, daughter yeah. is an esthetician. She doesn't oh, oh yeah. I don't think she I do that for my nail tech. Cards. But I always, always, always give her name out to people. Uh -huh. And I could share her information. Art through this. Yep. Well, and on her car, she could put pictures of the work she's done. I've seen yep. that you posted pictures of the work because there's a product carousel where you could put pictures of the work, All the work. that's done. Yeah. Down to a hundred pictures. Oh, awesome. Yeah. She's got a Facebook page that she, every time she does like, I, like my eyebrows are on there and you know, every time she does anybody's work, they go on her Facebook page and she yeah. does the stages of you know, because like getting microblading done is scary. So she'll put, you know, she could actually put like testimony. I mean, I, it took me two years to even agree to it because I was scared to death to have it done. <laughs> and you could, she could actually probably do testimony. I was like, well, I was really scared to do this. But it's oh, really yeah, she yeah, she could. could. And then you, and then everybody yeah. can save it right to their phone and they won't have to lose their car. I mean, because people hand me business cards. Oh, do you mind getting me customers? I'm like, yeah, I would. But I mean, this is a pain in the butt. So if somebody I use all the time, and if you have those business cards of anybody you use in your shuffle, you can share them out from that as well. So it's just really nice. Um, it's just much easier. You're going to be in I groups. I had a girl, she isn't B and I. I'm like, why don't you have everybody signed up for this yet? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't even understand how you don't. 
Everybody's sitting in there <laughs> running a damn business. They're in there to make money. You're not, I mean, don't you get a chance to talk in these groups? I mean, there's gotta be some kind of met, more, you know, reason to be there. It's just like, I don't know. I'm like, oh no. Our first meeting at first meeting at rental lease. I can't wait. I'm a realtor now. I'm going to a meeting. I can't wait to sit with all these realtors. I got so many things they could be using. That's cool. Sign them all up. Yeah, my son's <laughs> a CPA and he gave me a stack of his cards. And like probably three times I wanted to give his information out. And I don't have his cards on me. Yep. Mm. Well, you'll have it now. Oh, they're at home. Sorry. It'll be in your phone. I'm going to stop the recording, you guys. If you're catching this on my YouTube channel, please make sure that you go to the person who shared it with you. So if somebody you know is using Shuffle, get the banner on the bottom and give it a click. If you don't, my information's on this video. Oh, yeah. By the way, we do this every Thursday at 1. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs>